Okay, in this demo we're going to take a look at a couple different frequencies with the Butterfly Platform Logic Analyzer and uh, currently there's a frequency generator that's connected uh, to the inputs of the Butterfly Platform hardware and uh, we're going to capture some signals. We're going to start out with 2 megahertz and we're going to go ahead and do a capture. We're going to have a recording size of 2K samples. Uh, the design currently supports 4K samples, but we're going to start at 2 to look at the difference. Okay, so we see uh, that it's captured the signal, and the new client software sizes uh, the signal to the, or the, the view to the entire capture, which is a nice feature. And we can go to the default zoom, which shows it's zoomed in as far as it can go. And one of the nice new features of the updated software from CVS is it, it adds cursors. So you can move a cursor uh, and take a look at uh, what the actual frequency that you're verify that you're at the frequency you expect. And uh, we see for the, the entire cycle, it's at 2 megahertz, and that's what we expect. We can zoom out incrementally, incrementally or we can choose this button that takes us to the, the view of the entire capture, and then back in. So, uh, kind of neat. All right, we're going to do another capture here, and uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, do 10 megahertz. All right, so we're going to re repeat the capture with the same settings. And uh, we can see that the waveform is a lot closer together, which is what we would expect. Let's go ahead and go to the zoom. Uh, the lowest level. Let's look at the cursors again. And we have 10 megahertz, which is what we expect. Um, so we can once again page out, or we can just go to the entire view. Now, now when we go to the entire view, we can see by moving the cursor, well actually first let's get rid of the cursors. So if we hover towards the end, we see that we've got, with 2K samples, we've captured about 20 microseconds worth of waveform. So let's capture again, and this time let's capture 4K, which is the max that we can do with this design. And we should see that the captured amount of data is about twice the amount of time. So right, we see it's 40 microseconds. Um, now another cool feature is, is the ability to enable the RLE, which will basically get rid of any, um, it will only capture uh, data to the memory when there's actual changes, and it will represent uh, t periods when there, it doesn't change with, with as encoded, so let's enable that and hit capture. And we should see that that drastically increased how much we could capture. It took us from 40 microseconds to 102 microseconds. So that's pretty cool. Let's zoom in and make sure that we still have accurate data. And it shows 10 megahertz. So uh, I think that's all that we wanted to show for this demo. Thanks a lot. Bye.